What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a simple research AI agent on any time. Let's get started. To create a simple AI research agent, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to search for Telegram and click on Telegram. Yeah, I'm going to choose on message is our trigger. And now to test it, I'm going to run it. Then on Telegram, I've created a bot, which I'm going to use to submit our queries. So for example, we can ask, what is the weather in London now? And you can see over here, we got our query. After we have submitted our question, we'd like to create an AI agent that will be responsible for answering our questions. So here, I'm going to search for, our, I'm going to search for AI agent and click on AI agent. I'll click on back to Canvas and then for the chat model, we can use any of these models over here. I'm going to choose to use the Gemini model and choose the latest model over here, which is which is Gemini 2.0 Flash. Then click on back over here. On our AI agent, for the source of the prompt, I'm going to choose to define below. I'll add the prompt as topic of research, which will be this text over here. So this is the question that we are asking our AI over here. So now to test if our workflow works, I'll click on test workflow. I'll ask our AI, what is the weather in London now? You can see that our workflow was executed successfully. When we open our AI agent, you can see it gave us an output over here, telling us to give, to give you the most accurate information for your research on weather in London right now. And it works as live weather source since I can directly browse the internet in real time. Here's how I recommend getting the information. Let us try and ask it a more reasonable question. So I'll test our workflow. Then on Telegram, I'll ask it when did World War II end? You can see that our workflow ran successfully. So when we open it, you can see it's giving us an output right here, telling us World War II ended at a different time depending on the theater of the war. And the specific events considered. Then it's going to more details about the end of World War II over here. Here, I'll search for Telegram. And then on Telegram, I'm going to add a message action and choose to send a text. For the chat ID, we're going to add the ID of the chat right here. And then, and then for the text, we're going to drag our output over here. And I'll let us test. It's sending us our message over here. And you can see over here, we got our message over here, which was sent automatically with any 10. On our AI agent, I'll open it. And then here, I'll add options and add and customize an incredible prompt to our agent. So here, I'll click on expression and click on output over here. Yeah, I'll write a customized prompt to ensure that our agent is giving us the right response to our to our questions, our prompt could be on the lines of you are a helpful research agent. You will convert a user's topic into a single, precise, and well-structured deep research output. It must strictly adhere to the given topic, avoiding any unrelated and tangential concepts. Here we're outlining the process where we are telling our AI to extract core concepts by identifying the exact keywords from the user's topics without adding new or unrelated themes. We're also telling the AI to maintain focus to ensure the research remains specific to the user's input without broadening or altering its intended scope. We're also telling the AI to generate a well-structured output. The research must be in-depth and comprehensive, strictly aligned with the user's topic, organized in a clear and logical format. The output format that we are recommending should be a structured research response that delivers a deep insights into the top while remaining under 496 characters. So I'm going to close this one over here and then click on block. And now to test if our AI research will give us a well-structured output. I'm going to test our workflow. On Telegram, I'm going to ask it, what is neuroplasticity? Then we can see our workflow was executed successfully. We asked our AI agent, what, what is neuroplasticity? And you can see it gave us an incredible output over here. It's giving us the definition of, the definition of neuroplasticity, the mechanism, factors influencing, neuroplasticity and the implications of neuroplasticity over here now 
on our response you can see it's giving us the send and date notification right here to remove the notification on telegram i'll open it and here i'll click on add field then i'll click on append and an attribution and turn this one to off and then i'll go back and test our workflow with a different question this time around i'm going to ask our agent how does inflation impact consumer spending and then ask our agent you can see that it, our workflow was executed successfully and it's giving us our response right here this time around without the notification on our response we can try asking our agent complex topics then on telegram i'm going to ask our ai agent how does memory consolidation work yeah you can see it's giving us a comprehensive response right here and it's a well-structured response it's giving us the definition of memory consolidation giving us the types of memory consolidation key brain structures cellular mechanisms factors influencing consolidation and disruptions over here let us try asking our agent another complex topic to do that i'll test our workflow then on telegram i'm going to ask our agent what is cognitive dissonance and how does it affect decision making then ask our agent you can see that our agent gave us our response right here on cognitive dissonance and decision making it's a well-structured response and it's going into details on the impact of cognitive dissonance on decision making over here let us try another complex topic to do that i'll tell i'll click on test workflow then on telegram i'm going to ask our ai agent how does the gut microbiome influence overall health and ask it over here you can see it's running and give us our response right here here it's giving us a well-structured response on the gut microbiome it's influence on overall health over here and it's outlining the influence of gut microbiomes on our health right here giving us five points and giving us a conclusion over here this is incredible we can try asking our agent one more complex topic to do that i'll click on test workflow then on telegram i'm going to ask our ai agent what is machine learning and how is it used and how is it used in real world applications and ask our AI agent you can see here it's giving us the definition of, of what machine learning is and then it's giving us real world applications over here and our workflow was executed successfully so this was a simple ai research agent that you can create for yourself and interact with it by asking it complex topic and it's going to output well-structured responses to your questions or topics if you have an automation or an agent in mind that you'd like for me to create just comment down below in the comment section and if i land on your comment and i find it intriguing i'll come back on a feature video showing you how to create the entire automation or agent from scratch but for now thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye